hi guys welcome back to another video so i did mention in my last primark haul or the i think it was actually the video before this um that i did go to primark again and it would just be rude not to show you what i got like i know i've already done june one but you can never have enough primark hauls and yeah i thought it literally would be rude not to show you but i hope everyone had a great weekend by the way if you're from the uk then that heat wave we just had insane like i literally felt like i was on holiday if i close my eyes when i was laying on a sunbed i literally thought i was on holiday and then like i just had like the sudden realization that i've actually got to work um i never let myself have weekends off like i'm always like because obviously i work full time and do social media like i know i've obviously only got a small channel but it takes a lot of time and i usually spend my whole weekend my evenings everything doing it and because i actually had a whole weekend off which to be fair was very needed like i needed a weekend to just literally chill but because i did that it meant that i am now monday lunch break filming this video <laughs> but that's fine honestly absolutely fine but it's just a really hot day today still so this dedication like i didn't fully appreciate until i did youtube how much like effort it is filming videos and especially hauls because you would think hauls would be easier and they are but doing try on clips oh my god when it's hot and having to like quickly like take clothes on and off films oh my god the effort all right so just appreciate this one but yeah i'm gonna show you everything and i i will do try on clips all right you're hearing it here you're hearing it here first i will do them it's just appreciate it you know so another massive bag which you wouldn't believe because i already did a primark haul in june and got quite a lot i went back for some more okay to be fair i've tried some of this stuff on i think i'm going to take a couple of little bits back but i obviously will still show you those bits because they're still cute you know what i mean just because they don't look right on me or don't fit me doesn't mean that they're not going to suit you all right so i'm just going to pull things out in a random order this is very random and just doesn't fit with like it being summer but i picked up this winnie the pooh jumper because i've got something behind me I need to back. because i have seen this in store so many times and loved it but it was actually reduced so i thought well now's the time i can wear this on the plane to disney and i actually feel like it looks kind of like vintagey i think because the color is like a gray marl color and i feel like it just gives like the vintage effect so i really liked it and it was five pounds and it used to be nine so i'm just a sucker for that red sticker like i see that red sticker and i'm like yeah then i picked up these denim shorts which i actually have a little story to tell you about these ones so i'll show you them first and then i'll tell you the little story which i mean i'm very excited by you probably are like we don't care holly um they're these pink denim shorts i think you can see the color it's like a bright pink but it's kind of like acid wash i love acid wash i think like it just looks so nice i got them in a size 14 because i always have to size up in denim i'm usually about 12 um but i have to size up in denim every time in primark because primark sizing not the one if you know you know it's just not the one so yeah just size up they were 13 pounds and i just feel like they're a perfect fit but basically right as i said they were 13 pounds me and my sister both really wanted them she was like mm, no they're not worth 13 pounds but i was like oh okay these i'm just gonna chuck on the white top i'm not gonna show you every single color of these because obviously they fit the same they're just a different color but this is the white vest with the um pink shorts on they are a little bit tight for a 14 i'm not gonna lie but i always find that with product denim that they're just always like tight and you always end up having to size up but yeah i do really love them i think they're a gorgeous color and these tops are a staple like i said i won't show you the green and the blue on because they're literally the same just different colors i'm just gonna get them but then she was like just look on vintage i looked on vintage when we were in the shop i couldn't find them in my size so i was like i'm just gonna get them because i don't want to regret it i then like this, i got this a few days ago now i think yeah i got this on friday it's now monday and yesterday like last night i happened to just be scrolling through vintage like i do most days and what do i see i see those exact ones my size with the tags still on but someone's selling them for eight pounds so i was like right okay i need to work out how much it'll actually cost because obviously with vintage you do have to pay shipping fee and like a buy protection so i like pressed it and worked out how much it would actually cost and it came to 11.99 and i was a bit like mm, obviously it's still like a pound saving but is, i'm like is it really worth the hassle for a pound so i was like i'm just gonna offer her a price because obviously on vintage if you don't know you can offer a price and they can like turn it down like and i always start with like a the lowest price because chances are they're going to turn it down but then they might offer like a pound more or like a pound more do you know what i mean like and i just rather start with the lowest and then haggle my way up do you know what i mean so i was like i'm just gonna offer her five pounds like i doubt she's gonna accept it because they're literally new with tags 13 pounds um and she's got them for eight pounds so i'm just gonna offer and she accepted it for five pounds which i was like 
what? So it worked out with shipping and buy protection. I paid eight pounds something for it, which obviously is like a good few pounds saving at this point. So I was like, right, I'm just gonna do it. And usually I wouldn't, I would be like, it's not worth it because by the time you pay for fuel to get there and like parking, but I am taking a couple other things back to Pramac as well. So I was like, I might as well do it and save myself a few pounds to literally get the same shorts yeah that was a bit of a long-winded story but little tip always check on vintage if you're thinking of buying something but you're a bit unsure about the price like whether you want to spend that always check on vintage first if they have it because chances are they probably will especially if it's like a brand like primark or like pretty little thing like big brands there's always a lot of clothing for those brands on vintage so yeah good little tip there but anyway i then picked up this dress which i think i'm gonna take this dress back because i just don't think it sits right on me i don't know if it's because i got too big of a size or if it just doesn't look right with my body shape i'm not sure but it is a gorgeous dress so i'm going to show you because i feel like some people would love this obviously you'll see clearer in the try on clip but it's got like a cow neck and then it's like got like a raw raw skirt but it's actually like slanted hopefully you will see this a lot better in the try on clip but i got it in a size 14 which i do think i probably should have got a size 12 i always end up like sizing up to be safe but actually i need to stop doubting myself because i am a size 12 um and yeah i think that's partly what it is it kind of like folds too much and then like you know boobs fall out and it's just not a good time um so yeah i think i probably should have sized down but it was 14 pounds which is a pretty good price for like a nice summer dress. Like you could wear that. I feel like that would be a good wedding dress actually as well. Um, yeah, I feel like it would fit very, like really well for like all different events over the summer. So if that's your cup of tea, then definitely get it. Don't, don't let me put you off just because it didn't look right on me. Okay, this is the dress. I don't know how well you can see. Hopefully you can see. It's just a weird fit. Like the straps are like really tight to create this bit. And then like where it goes down, it's really short here. I just, yeah it's not a bit of me <laughs> i then picked up these tops and i think i showed one in my last try on clip i have them in so many colors but the mistake i made last time with the red one was that i got my normal size and i never thought i'd say this but i actually sized down in these tops because when you size down they kind of act like shapewear and they're just so flattering like you can even get away with not wearing a bra with these um but they are these like crop tops you've probably seen them if you shop in primark they've got like a spaghetti strap and they actually got i don't know if you can see but it's like double layered where your boobs will be so it's not see-through at all and it just sucks you in and it's just it's just a good time it's really flattering um and they had this blue color the blue color was actually reduced to like one pound or two pound i think i don't know why i'm guessing like maybe not many people actually like this color but i do i think it's nice with the tan um and yeah i got it in a size small which is a 10 to a 10 to 12 and i think they're usually three pound fifty um i think i've already taken the tags off when i tried it on but i think they're usually three pound fifty and i got it for like a pound or one pound fifty but i did also get this color which was just normal price because again how nice is that going to look with tan it's like an illuminous yellow again i don't think the camera is really oh there we go you can kind of get gather it's like an illuminous yellow which i love with the tan it just looks 10 10 and yeah same size again size small and i think this might have the tag on yeah yeah so it's actually three pound fifty normal price so i forgot to mention i also picked it up in white as well just as a staple i think i've already got it in black so i was like i might as well pick it up in white just because it's such a staple it'll go with so many different outfits and i never think to get basics like i always go for like the bright colors and like the cool patterns and then i end up like i love that stuff but then i end up needing a basic and i just don't have it so i thought while i saw it i might as well pick up the basic right I then picked up two more bikinis, which I know you'll probably, if you've watched my other videos, you'll be thinking, Holly, there's no way you need more bikinis. Like there's absolutely no way. And you'd be right to say that because yeah, I just don't. But I saw this and I thought I don't actually have just a classic black bikini, but I'm not gonna lie. I think I am taking this back or at least the top back. Um, but this is the bikini and I, I don't know what it is about these bikinis. Like you'd think they would be really, really flattering. You'll see in the trial clip a bit more, but I just don't know how I feel about it, but it's just a classic black um, triangle bikini that you can tie. I got this in a size medium and it was five pounds. And then this is the main reason why I got them. It's because of this really cheeky Brazilian. Like you can even see it's got like the ruching on the bum. It's so flattering. Um, and then I just picked up a random black bikini top to go with it because I thought, like my sister got these and she just wears like random bikini tops with it. But I'm just, I can't do that. Like 
the OCD in me just can't wear mismatched bikinis, like absolutely not. And the Brazilian I also got in a medium and that was four pounds. But yeah, I think I might keep it just because it is like a staple to have a black bikini, especially when you're tanned in the summer, like it looks really good. And then this is what I mean about, I always go for like patterns and colors because I'm just like, oh, it's just nicer. Um, but yeah, it is good to have staples, but also, just look at her like oh my god she is so cute i think is it focusing yeah you've probably seen this in primark they also do it with like a mint green and like orange and stuff like that but this bit's actually toweling i don't know how well that's gonna show up there we go um but that's actually toweling as well which i love and with triangle bikinis like there is so many ways you can wear them like i never really wear them like the standard way anymore i always wear them like either that way or like there's just so many different ways you could wear this so this is in a size 12 and that was seven pounds and then the bottoms are like that at the front they're quite cheeky <laughs> but then at the back they're just standard pink and like normal bikini um i need to say flavor i think you can tell like it's my lunch break and i haven't actually had lunch yet normal bikini material uh also got them in a 12 and they were five pounds so 12 pound for a bikini again like that's just primark's favorite price for bikinis it's always 12 pounds and to go with these well it's not going to go with the pink one it's going to go with the black one i picked up this brown bikini like shirt cover up which i just think is stunning i don't have anything like this it's in a gorgeous chocolate brown color and oh, i just think it's so nice especially with a tan like i love this is the difference between like i love bright colors but i also love browns and beiges like oh i just love it i got that in a medium and that was eight pounds again a bit random from me i actually got some heels and i never ever get heels but i'm not gonna lie i might take these back because they're a bit big for me but me and my sister saw these heels they're just some pretty standard pink heels but they were three pounds they were they're usually 12 pounds i don't know if you can see that and they were actually reduced to three pounds and we thought that's a really good price for like some standard pink heels for like holidays and just summer but i tried them on and they're actually like quite loose so yeah i don't know about that i might have to take them but i don't know if i can take them back because i've taken the like thing that ties them together off but it's still got like the tag on the back so i might try um but they're really good for the price like i do love them i just they just seem to be quite big on me and i don't know why because i am a size five and i think if i got a size four it would be like too small for me everywhere else so i think they're just gonna have to go back and then lastly very random but i saw this at the checkout and i thought you know what for a pound you can't go wrong it's just a spatula it's like wooden and then yeah it was one pound in the like you know like they have like the bowls in the queue it was in one of them and i thought for a pound i could do with an extra spatula do you know what i mean like you can't really adult things you can't really go wrong so yeah picked up that And that is everything I picked up from Primark. Obviously that was a part two, so it wasn't gonna be like massive. So definitely go watch part one if you haven't already. But I still thought it was worth showing you. Like I said, it would be rude not to at this point. Like I feel like I can't go to Primark and not show you guys. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.